Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we are going to draw a really fun drawing of a pomegranate, like a half of it, like a cut off of it. So it's going to be very interesting and fun. And I hope you draw this with me. And if you do, please send it to my Facebook or my Instagram account. I will post it on my next upcoming video and share it with everyone because it's going to be a beautiful drawing. I can't wait to see it. And if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day. And along the way while we draw, I will share with you some fun facts about pomegranate in general. Today I'm going to read um, frudo.com and uh, fun facts from there. So I hope you like it. And I did draw a tree of life with pomegranate long time ago. I will post that in the i button up top. And if you have any requests for me to draw for next time, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And if you know some fun facts that you would like to share about pomegranate in general, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any comments about this video and anything that you think I should improve on, let me know in the comments below and if you are liking this video don't forget to hit that like button down below as well so um, we already got started I'm drawing with the color pencils directly so uh, today I'm using faber the color pencils and uh, the red color that's what I'm starting off with actually it's more of a darker pink color like a pink shade to the red color and I will show you exactly how everything comes about and uh, draw this whole thing with you and I will share some fun facts with you along the way as well. So now going back to the drawing, I'm adding in the seeds. The word pomegranate means apple with many seeds. So um, just like that, we are going to draw a lot of seeds because it's a, a cut off of a pomegranate. So you need to be able to draw those seeds. And um, like you're drawing right now, like you're seeing there right now, uh, you just have to add in the seeds in between because when you cut a pomegranate um, fruit in half you will see that there is a membrane like thing around the seed as well so to capture that um, look we're just drawing seeds here and there and I'll show you how it all comes together in a bit as well so for this one I, it took me more than few uh, 10 minutes to draw this so that's why you see that I'm drawing it faster like I fast forwarded the video just a little bit so that I can stay within a short video uh, without having to make this video too long but I believe that every detail is very clear if you want to draw with me as well so I hope you do and to give you more fun facts, pomegranates are native to the Middle East and um, they are uh, in the berry family and uh, they are classified as a super fruit and they say that there is a lot of nutri nutrition and it's very good for you apparently and pomegranates can be stored up to two months in the fridge and they grow in the United States and are typically in season for September to December. And they do not have cholesterol or saturated fats, so which makes it even better if you want to eat them. And uh, they, the trees grow in hot and dry climates. So I'm um, like I always say in Sri Lanka, they have pomegranates as well. Um, so uh, they like I said before they grow in hot and dry climates so Sri Lanka is in the equator so very hot all the time uh, which is great um, and pomegranate trees can live for over 200 years so if you have a tree you don't have to worry about running out of pomegranate if it makes uh, pomegranates 
so and it's a very delicious fruit um, it's just a little bit of a hassle to get all that seed out from the uh, fruit but once you do have it it uh, makes a delicious um, food and pomegranate can hold more than thousand seeds um, in one fruit so that's it for frugal.com um, that's all the information that they have which is very interesting so if you want to get more information and fun facts as well you can read that website so um, I will also give you some more fun facts along the way as well but now going back to the drawing you can see that adding that black color in between the seeds gave it that distinct look already and then we'll add a lot of more detail to this to make it look real and then I'll show you how the full color drawing looks like. So now I'm going to read ricardocousin.com for some more facts. Um, so seeds have a tangent tangy taste similar to cranberry but sweeter so you can really use it in salads as well um, you can eat them with your hands or with a spoon and they go wonderfully with green salads or fruit salads and also they have a distinct color so you have to be careful if you're opening up a pomegranate you have to be careful careful around your clothes because once the color is in there it's going to stay in your clothes and um, sometimes you use it on meat as well like a finishing touch and rice or vegeta vegetarian curries um, they provide a nice ruby red contrast they are very pretty those seeds are very very pretty they do look like rubies an extremely ripe fruit left on the tree will eventually explode allowing hundreds of seeds to fall to the ground this is why the pomegranate name is tied to the explosive device and also why this fruit is associated with fertility and the season is in full swing from September to January like I said before the only variety sold in North America is the red wonderful the pomegranate you find in grocery stores are already ripe and ready to eat um, so when you're choosing one you have to choose ones that feel heavy uh, which means um, they are full of juice So going back to the drawing, I just want to add that I used a lot of uh, pink shades, coral shape uh, shades of color and uh, white to make the seeds shiny as well as different shades of red and maroon to make the seeds look like uh, little rubies like, just like that website said and also black to give that contrast for each seed and then around the seeds you have lots of texture to this fruit so you have to make sure you add all that as well and on the top it's usually it has like thread like uh, things right at the top so that's what I was trying to um, make it look like there and then uh, the um, the outer uh, outside of the pomegranate is usually red as well red with like little dots um, and I added in some white so you can see all the colors that I use so different shades of reds pinks coral and beige colors as well as black and white so those were the colors that I use so you can see all the details that I'm adding before I show you the full color drawing I wanted to make sure that I show you every single detail that I added so that if you're drawing it with me you know exactly what to add as well so with the prism color color pencils because they look they like really fill in those white areas nicely like a crayon so I added uh, some color like lighter pink with that as well 
So now I will show you how the full color drawing looks like. So this is the full color drawing of the pomegranate, the half of it anyway. So I hope you love it. And if you do, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment for me. And if you want to buy products with this on, don't forget to check out my Redbubble shop link in the description box below for products like t-shirts and even phone covers and many things that you can check out. And now I'm going to put some next videos for you to check out next. I hope you love those as well. And don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel because I bring a video every single day to you and I hope you draw them with me. And if you have any requests, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And I will see you tomorrow as always. I hope you have a great day. Bye.